Hi, this is Ben Richards, the Business and Communication Librarian at Cleveland State University. You're watching a video on finding country demographic and economic data. The first resource we're going to look at is called Global Edge. Global Edge compiles country data and information from various different sources. Point your browser to the URL shown on the screen. We are now on the Get Insights by Country page of Global Edge. You'll notice a large map from which you can select a country and a long list of countries below. Select the country that you're interested in and you'll be taken to a page with basic introductory information. On the right hand side of the page, there's some basic categorical and statistical information as well as several quick links. These links will take you to other sources of solid information on your country. Each page includes a sources page, which indicates where this page is getting its information from. On the left hand side of the page, you'll notice a table of contents. Click a section to go to that page. On the history page, you'll be given a brief timeline of pivotal events in this country's history. Again, there are sources included at the bottom of the page. The government page will tell you key figures in the government, the structure of the government, various economic indicators about the government, links to trade blocks and international organizations of which this country participates in, tax information, and additional sources. On the economy page, you'll be given information about this country's economic performance, various economic indicators, areas of trade, and sources, usually including the World Bank. The statistics page will cover information about people and demographics energy consumption, technology, the geography environment of this country, and more sources. The trade statistics page will show this country's trade rank on various different indices, total amounts of trade, important trade partners for both exports and imports, and the top 10 imported and exported goods for this country. The culture page will cover links to different sources of information for cultural information about this country. Later on in this tutorial series, I will cover the Center for Intercultural Learning in more depth. On the risk page, this report will cover various different risk and business climate ratings for the country. The corporations page will cover various different companies operating in this country. The indices page will cover various different political, government, and economic indices of which this country is ranked. Again, you can always follow up with a source to learn more about this index. The resources page will cover various different links where you can find more information about this country. This includes government links, news sources, regulatory agency sites, and more. These links are a good place to find additional information about the country. The Trade Resources page covers information specific to doing business with Argentina for businesses in 
the United States. And the memo includes a nice, concise report on the country's basic statistics. Next, we're going to look at the CIA World Factbook. The World Factbook will provide more details on each country. This is the home page for the CIA World Factbook. You can select which country you want to view from this drop-down menu. And scrolling down the page, we'll see a map, a selection of images, and then the different sections of the Factbook entry. You can see there is more detail provided here than in Global Edge. And some especially helpful sections might be geography, people and society, the economy, communications, and transportation.